morning. Sorry, a uh, hectic one this morning, trying to get ready and out. But we are on our way now to Nelson Ghost Town, which is an abandoned town. It is a managed abandoned town, so it's not really abandoned. Um, but it looks cool. And we've been speaking to, uh, I think it's a lady called Bobby, uh, who is, who's arranged for us to go on a tour of one of the old gold mines there. I mean, not that she's arranged especially, but you can book this online anyway, but you need to email and make sure there's at least four people going and just being quite kind and uh, sorted us out, because I think it's only two of us. I don't is think anyone else has turned up. Worth saying that you can do this as a managed day trip, but it was significantly cheaper to hire a car from Avis for the day. Oh, right, yeah, so pink Jeep tours we were looking at, and they were charging, I think over, God, what was it, 160 or 200 dollars for two people? It may be more than that, actually. Insert correction. Um, yeah. But the car, yeah, <laughs> insert actual price here. But the actual car hire was like 60 dollars for the day, and then it's 20 dollars a person to do the exact same tour. Um, and it's the same guide that takes you around, and if you were to pay for a third party to take you. Pink Jeep tours we've used before they're and they're fantastic. Yeah. But because this is such a small thing, as soon as we looked at the price comparison, it, you know, if you're not comfortable driving, then yeah, go and, go, go and use um, a third party. Forward drive. I hope that time lapse came out because I've been holding this as steady as I can for a good 40 minutes and my arm aches now. But that's the ghost town ahead. That's where we're heading to. And then I think the mine is opposite. We are running a little bit late. We're 10 minutes late. But yeah, this is the ghost town. It's basically where these non abandoned cars are, where we're pulling in. Where is that? Sorry? Just here. On and the left. People are walking. Yeah, yeah, on the left. And you've arrived. Destination is on your left. The parking there is just fine. Oh, okay. We need pipelines fed water to the camp. Still used today underneath major cities like Boston. Yeah, Cords can uh, run in every direction, okay. and all, right. all deals with the fracturing of the host rock, which is raw light. Okay. okay. They can. Um, I'll explain a little more once you guys get up here. But take a look around. Take your photos. Wow. Try to imagine in candlelight you're on those wooden ladders. This is it, you know, 1860s. This is like, what, 100, 160 years ago, which is a long time ago for us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the uh, quartz in the wall. Another quartz in the wall. Sorry, Bruce, for, for this year. Did they excavate everything above, or was that naturally here? No, this is excavated. This isn't a cave, this is, or a cavern, this is a mine, so it was man-made. Yeah, um, uh, so, um, uh, yeah. Okay. 
I'll explain. I'll go in deeper once you guys come up and take a look and soak this in a little bit. Down below is a mine cart down there. You can see how big it is in here, 100 feet away, 30 meters. Left over from Minecraft. <laughs> well, the, when the miners, what they did when they come in, they would come in and He's going to turn all the lights off and just have it lit by candlelight for us. So we've just been in the El Dorado mines here opposite uh, Nelson Ghost Town and that was really good. $20 a person. Um, we ended up having two other people with us so it was fine because the minimum they really want us for. But it was so interesting down there and Bruce, our tour guide, was fantastic, very knowledgeable. So as you come in it's kind of on one side of the road it's the mine which you need to, I think it's the car park that you also need to have the paid tour to go into because it's got lots of private signs and on the other side is the ghost town Nelson ghost town now as I alluded to in the car it is not actually abandoned it's people live here the owners live here they bought the place and have been slowly uh, doing it up so you don't have to pay to come to the town and look around but uh, I think they would prefer it's worth a visit now this building please don't just come to and go in he's given us permission to go in uh, due to the abundance of stupid people which I think is very fair but this place is just an absolute museum of old mining towns and the old gold mine mines he's given us permission to go upstairs as well so up we go carefully and I'm looking everywhere because it's snakes scorpions tarantulas all the nasty stuff you don't want all up here but oh, sorry all around And it's cool to uh, be able to come in. It's a place you can get married here. I mean, we got here just as there was a wedding kind of finishing up. I think they've gone now, thankfully. After here, we're going to, I think, carry on down to the Colorado River. It's about five miles down. Down, but yeah, the mine was. Definitely recommend that. It's very cool to see, very knowledgeable. Uh, tour guides. This is that a family just bought the entire place, so they've been spending years kind of putting things back together and everything they find they put out on display to keep the history going. They reckon about 90 95% of history's probably been lost to time, but there's still a shit ton here. Right. So put the sign back as promised. They've been moving into some of the original buildings and I think have just been doing them up. Bruce said he was here. No heating, no aircon. About six months before he moved into one of the other houses. Uh, one of the owner's brother or brother-in-law was in one of the small buildings which sadly was burnt down in an arson attack. Somebody tried to rob it. And it was an original building as well, so another piece lost. This building is the general store, it's also where they do, where they meet you, you can go in, get some refreshments and again it's full of little antiquities. 
Yeah, so this is one of the original buildings with the chimney uh, that was burned down in an attempted robbery and arson attack. And one of the guys was living there at the time. I mean, this is pretty cool. So I think they said it was 144 people were working at the El Dorado mine, which is across the road over there. Um, that's where you enter. And what was really freaky, that's not often I get really freaked out, was when we were down there. He said, do you mind, he said, do you mind if I uh, turn the lights off and just show you what it's like with the candle? And we said, yeah, okay. Surprising amount of light given off from the candle. And then he blew the candle out. And that darkness just freaks me out. I mean, the total, total darkness. And you suddenly start feeling things that aren't there. So this, I'm wondering if this is the chapel that you can get married in, which is kind of unique to say the least. As he did say, it looks kind of like it was set out. Now this bit, I want to be careful of. Lots of little hidden dangers for snakes to sit and wait. The cars, they have, you know, uh, I think Bruce said, when you've got a lot of time on your hands, you've got a lot of time to play and tinker and they like bringing old vehicles in and it kind of fits the scene. I mean, the vehicles are younger than the town, but you know, it was all donkeys and horses back then. Ooh, big cobweb. <laughs> Let's carry on. This means they naturally have to take steps to protect what's left. I mean, over that side, I don't know if you can see, they've literally built houses on buses where they've just had little projects, but that side's also there where they live, so that's why you shouldn't really be walking around that side too freely. You can have a look, but there are signs clearly saying not to go certain places. Same with this side. Okay, so I am walking down to the Colorado River. This is actually a flood path. It's got a big sign up there that says danger, uh, extreme flooding. So let's see. And the Colorado River. With rather a lot of rubbish, let's see. On the way back, we decided to stop into Durango. We had plans to do this at some point, but we didn't have a specific day. So I think we're gonna grab some food because we are hungry. We did not eat enough this morning. Just one little pastry from Hazel's. It's lunchtime. So we'll find something to eat and then have a look around. So we're thinking about going to Chinatown too, but we also want um, public house tonight. So. We want to eat, but not overeat, which is difficult for us to do. <laughs> Look at these frozen cocktails there. Uh, we've gone for Irv's Burgers, and Tim has some floater. What's it called? Floater? Floater, that's when you have poo. What is it called? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a Floats. It's called a float though. 
Oh, it's floater. similar enough. <laughs> it's similar enough, honestly. Float, floater. So this is the menu. Um, look, it's called float. Uh, he went for the orange creamsicle. There we are. Okay, so for lunch we've gone for Herb's Burger at Durango. <coughs> Got myself a delicious orange creamsicle, which is orange soda and well, I think Matt just showed you with this floater. <laughs> orange soda uh, and soft serve. And then we've got the best burger, which we're going to share. Onion, right, it's all going to be shared. Onion rings and a chili dog, which isn't as big as I thought it would be. Diddy 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 dog. And we're going to cut these all in half and give them a go. Yay! Yay! Okay, so we have discussed and we agree the burger is delicious. Very nice burger. Very nice burger. Hot dog was okay. It was smaller, so the hot dog I could eat in one go. <laughs> like Take that how you will. The burger was delicious, but it's actually a bit big for me. But that's what we yeah, we half and half it. Onion rings were fine. The drink was good, I like that. That's refreshing. All right, have a looky loo. Go and wash hands. Bye. Oh, it's lovely in here. This kind of reminds me of if Delano had a casino, this is what it might look like. Kind of earthy neutral. And it smells nice. But this would be nice at night. You'd have to see out at night. It's nice having the light coming in, but I know it's going to be a pain when you're sat for Without, on any machine facing the window. <laughs> no, this is this is very nice. I mean, it's obviously not busy, but it's also Monday morning, so. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's Monday. Everything's shiny. Don't really know what to say. I know there's loads of vlogs properly walking around here. We're just having a little mooch before making our way back. Summer House, Santa Monica. Ooh. You having a cookie? Oh, yeah, a cookie. You are? Yeah. Well, those pinky ones look. Uh, Interesting. They're massive. That's a very cool screen. The outside uh, seating area for the sports book with tabletop games. It's actually not too hot out here. Not too hot out here. Yeah, maybe. So the George. Actually, actually it gets a bit warmer the further out you go. <laughs> How's your cookie? Good. It's weird. <clears throat> the chocolate is very nice, which I wasn't expecting. The cookie itself, I've had nicer cookie dough cookie bits. Right. That makes sense, but it's a very good one. Overall good though. Good chocolate. Less good cookie dough. Wait. Official. Yeah, it suddenly gets hot here, doesn't it? All right, back in. Yeah, no, very nice. We're not really staying here long. We're literally just popping in on the way back. It is lovely though. The whole is, I said it's kind of like if you imagined Delano built a casino. It's a kind of neutral tone style to it. So we're now in the insanity of a Walmart. Grab some water, some beers, and a couple of essentials for the last few days. 
but it's so big I can't even see the other side. Ah, Modello. Hmm. Spam. Korean barbecue spam. <laughs> you got your fancy with your spam and Walmart. Oh yeah, get some paydays. Famous American cereal aisle. <laughs> what a thing to be famous for. And it's the cereal aisle that always gets us. Wow, corn syrup. Yikes. You're going to see something impressive here. Oh, sorry. Look what? <laughs> Just trying to think how many we can actually fit in the bag. How many you can get home? Yeah. Cheddar and sour cream. Might be so you can get ruffles in the UK from like Amazon or something, but the salt content I think is too dangerous to sell us like this. Or they have like massive warning, weird warnings all over them. It's really hard to get. So when we yeah, come here, yeah, we yeah. stock up because. Is the ones in Mexico, they are the same, but they have a salt warning on them. Ah, uh, yeah. So we've got the ruffles, water, finally good to have some Dr. Pepper cream soda. And some mini, great big, so I like those. And a seltzer water just so we can mix the rest of our, what's it called? Margarita mix. We might lose a bit. You're fine, you like your crisps. Do, but that's a lot to... You're not going to eat them in one go, though. No, no, no. Oh, you would. <laughs> what are we looking for? Beer? Oh, that's the end. I'm in a saucy little heaven. Uh... <laughs> okay. Don't know where to start. Right, so back in Mandalay Bay in the high limit room, 200 in, down to $5. <laughs> Finally got a bonus. 10 cent in on, $5 spin. Oh, yeah. That's yes, yeah. annoying, but good, but annoying. Come on, pause. Choose him. Uh, right, last one. Let's get the balls, 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 balls. Oh. 77. Uh, Matthew, back up. Apart from the real version, we've got three hats which give six free games. Uh, five cent norm, three cent to five spin, Mandalay Bay. Sorry, just want to move into comfortable position. So it still does that. First time we played this version. So I'm guessing that goes to the word of Get two again. And wait, oh, oh. Come on, let's get some uh, retriggers man through. One more, one more, one more. So that's. Come on, more hats, hats, hats. They're gonna need more than that, come on. Hey. So, walkie walkie kill comes.
So you only need three hats to trigger and two hats to re-trigger. Now in with the bus saw feature. Oh, wheel. Or wheel feature, sorry. Yeah, sorry. It was three bus saws with bus wheel. And they're slightly different names, so big bad wolf and handyman feature. I imagine it's the same thing. Uh, five cents in on 375, all the same. Uh, yeah, I'll be as long as it's not the goddamn mini, that's fine, handyman feature. Moves up and down. Sorry, moves down and upgrades frames. Ah, right, so it's like before, but it goes down. Let's slide all in the bottom. Gotcha. Oh, okay, so it's the bus source instead of... Oh, and the hats. Ah, okay, they both count. Get some mansions this time. That's one. Re trigger? Yes. I wonder if you get a re trigger for one bus saw in one hat. I think it's only one you get in screen at a time though. Oh! Oh, I like that. Thank you very much. I like that. Oh, well, that could be a new favorite feature. Could maybe get some points on the wooden houses. Not bad, not bad. 60, 70. Oh, I like that bus saw feature when it goes down. Seventy-one fifty, is it? Seventy-one twenty-five. I'm afraid it's not with it. Sorry. Yes, please, Matthew, dearest. Okay, so just in Mandalay Bay, low rolling. I've had one bonus. I didn't record it, but it actually was quite good at seventy dollars, I think, or eighty-eight cents. And then I won the mini, so I'll record this one now. I always like to do the three games. Matt always likes to do the mystery, but he's not here right now, so let's see what we get. We can get a screen of little doggies. That would be quite nice. I think we need a re-trigger. Come on. Oh, oh, no. Well, you don't win them all. And after seven or eight days, I'm still not winning any of them. Well, no, that's not true. I'm being ungrateful. I've had some good hits. Back up spin. And back in. I've had to turn the volume up because I've got the most annoying fucking tapper next to me. Right, come on. Let's get something good. Yep, yep. Oh. I tell you what, the aircon in Mandalay tonight is non existent. It is hot. Well, another little top up. Top up a day keeps the ATM ferry away. Ah, look who just arrived at this. I was just saying how Mandalay's hot. <laughs> I mean, the sink's full of ice. Oh, it's nice. Two cent game. Oh yeah, sorry, those two. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. 
sorry about the brief interruption. Uh, two cent denomination, five dollar bed. Dragon Linky thing. Oh, that's a hundred as well. Oh, big numbers, big numbers. Uh, join game. Oh, I saw words. I've seen words. Let's get some more words. Green. It's accepted. Spins on. Uh, we're only we're gonna play down to three and then take it, but we've just got the free spin bonus. So let's hope old Genghis rides to the rescue with bags of gold. Let's go. Yeah, he's all times too. Told off for pressing the button. Come on. Come on, Genghis. Last game that so far is pretty lackluster. 1950. A good year. Apparently. Matthew, back up spin, please. Alright, here's the view from Skyfall. This is the open air lounge bit. We are the only ones out here at the second, but people come and go, take the photos and go in. Amazing view. And sunset is kind of in the next 10 minutes, so we could see it go. You get a good view of the Tropicana demolition from here. Not much left. Another video of a toilet before anyone comes in. These are the men's urinals. And that's the view you get outside. <laughs> Pretty cool. Urinal. View. Right, so just walking over to Luxor after very enjoyable time up, oh, you can't see it, it's up there somewhere, up at uh, Delano's Skyfall Lounge, oh, I had three drinks up there, feeling a little bit sozzled now actually from those cocktails, and the uh, in the end we had a glass of mum rosé sparkling wine, which confused us because it had Napa Valley on it, if you know anything, and we know very very little, but one of our best friends is a wine expert. Um, shout out to Colette. Uh, Mum is a French champagne, but the, uh, the uh, an American vineyard Napa Valley have a collaboration or something with them so they get to use the name and it was actually really tasty. For $17 a glass, which is about £13, That's so good. for Vegas, we thought that was really good. Good views. Um, people up there were great, we were talking to some random groups up there and you can go outside to the terrace to get an unobstructed view of the strip. Matthew's saying if it's your first trip you need to go up there. Yeah we've been going since about 14 years, <laughs> it's the first time we've gone up, uh, gone up there. Uh, but yeah no, it was a, but now we're going into Luxor, uh, I've got a free play here and my Konami that I redeemed in 
December and forgot to use and it's still on my card. I can still see it on my app. So I'm gonna spend that. And then we're gonna to go to Public House for dinner. And I've got a my Vegas for that as well. $20 at 40. Somebody say chicken wings. Matthew's desperate for everyone's literally sat up there and I was like, Matt, I could sit up here for like hours and just drink and enjoy this view. And that's like chicken wings. I want my chicken wings. And so downstairs, I was on spin nine of my free play. I had one more free play spin left at 250, a bet on 10 cents, and I got the free bonus. A uh, free spin bonus. So let's hope something actually materializes with it being a freebie. Ideally, the major. <laughs> Ideally, anything. That's not helpful. I need. Okay, I think this is going to be. Oh, oh, hello. Oh. Last spin. Let's make these worthwhile. Jar. Jackal. <laughs> hey, Jack. All right. Forty-four fifty. Not bad for a free spin. One more free spin, that's my last one. Bonus award 250, there we go. I think that's it now, if I've counted correctly. Yep, there we go. Okay, low rolling in Luxor. Uh, 80 cents on Timberwolf Bucks. 12 free spins. I'm not quite sure what these mean. Oh, go on, line it up, line it up, line it up. I am 15 on this, so it's taken a while. I know I've played the Buffalo version of this. I, my brain is dead to think what they mean. So, one, two, 
two. And the big one which is going to win me a billion dollars and would allow me to buy an island. Well, 105 isn't bad on 80 cents. I'm very happy with that. Thank you. My little warty friends. So we're in public house and the menu looks a lot smaller than we used to. I think they've cut stuff out of this. And Matt's answer was to get wings and tenders, which to me is the same thing. So I think nachos would be a good call uh, as well. And one of the things, but yeah, we've ordered some beers here at public house in Luxor. Just been a staple now for a few years. Okay, so we've gone for the nachos, chicken nachos, here in public house. Uh, a dozen wings and some fries. The menu's definitely smaller, but it still looks just as good as I remember. Chippy chip chip. So. We have had our food, fill of food, and we are having a wander back. Um, I did manage to drop two glasses of beer, so ideal. But there we are. Anyway, Luxor. Okay, in Luxor after dinner at, uh, where were we, Public House, so. I have been going from 750 up to sorry 75 cents up to 750. I got the bonus of 75 cents sadly, but it's still a bonus. Oh okay. All the minimum things taken away. I think I might cash out after this because it's six games. And I really am not going to make back the money I've invested. <laughs> Unless I can get a trigger in a trigger. But those pots are suddenly very full now I've uh, started the bonus. But I don't think they are realistically that full. That was the last game. 445 a 75 cent bonus. Let's see if those pots change size because I'm sure they that, that's a tease. Yeah, look how small they all are. That's a tease. And I've got two and I only got one trigger thing. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Thank you for joining us again. This is the morning after sign off because we both were a little bit drunk last night. So yes, thank you for joining on this off-strip day. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing the ghost town and the mines because we did. It was good, definitely recommend. Join us on the next vlog, which is for us now, for you in a week, if, depending when you're watching. Uh, we're gonna be having breakfast at House Blues. Hopefully some coffee run wins. Then the pool. And we're making our way upstrip. We've got, what have we got? Din Tai Fun. And what show are we watching today? Sorry? What show are we watching today? Um, Atomic Saloon. Atomic Saloon at Venetian. Uh, need to get one of those frozen Bailey things we keep forgetting. So, yes, see you in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.